Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. A solid earnings season and rising confidence in the Fed's rates policy saw markets continue their advance to start the week in, well into positive territory. An announcement from Hamas that it accepted an Egyptian Qatari ceasefire proposal to end the war with Israel also gave US stocks a boost in early afternoon trading. The Dow Jones rose 0.46% to post its fourth consecutive winning session. The S&P 500 closed 1.03% higher and the Nasdaq finished 1.19% higher for the day. While the peak of the first quarter earnings season has passed, investors are still watching key companies set to report this week, including Dow member Disney on Tuesday and Uber on Wednesday. Apple fell on the day, bucking the magnificent trend after Warren Buffett revealed he has sold shares in the tech giant at the Berkshire Hathaway AGM. Buffett told shareholders that unless something changes dramatically, Apple will remain its largest investment, hinting that tax implications had motivated the sale. Small cap names outperformed on Monday, with the small cap focused Russell 2000 rising 1.3% in afternoon trading. Corporates are increasingly exiting their buyback blackout periods, with a surge in buyback announcements observed, totaling over $130 billion in the, in billion in the S&P 500 last week bringing the Q1 earnings season total to $262 billion. Apple and Google make up significant portions of those buybacks. In addition, retail investors chased higher yields in April, driving significant inflows into highly leveraged US exchange-traded funds, or ETFs, amidst market volatility and uncertainty over interest rates, totaling around $5.2 billion in the top 22 leveraged ETFs by the end of April, according to VandaTrack data. This surge contrasts with Q1 outflows from passive funds amid record S&P 500 highs, but escalating Middle East tensions and US interest rate uncertainty prompted investors to turn to leverage ETFs for market speculation or hedging. In commodities news, iron ore rose 2% in Singapore, nearing US $120 a tonne. In New York, gold gained 1% and oil edged higher. Overall, all US sectors closed higher overnight. Tech was the best performer, whilst real estate was the worst. Turning to domestic markets, all eyes will be on the first quarter retail sales at 11.30am, followed by the critical RBA policy statement at 2.30pm. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.5% gain. Thank you for listening.